If we're looking at uh, the trend, and we have s uh, listened this morning, we have from the internet to internet of things. Uh, certainly, they are they all the connect things, but there is some difference. For example, the the Internet of Things connect uh, the devices that we had not connected the Internet, for example, RFID and many devices, small devices that they connected, and this result to such that we can get a massive and growing amount of the date that traditionally we cannot get it, and. Uh, the date itself is nothing if we do not analyze it, we, if we do not make uh, from knowledge from that one is nothing. So the most important things we treat this date where analysis it is that uh, so we can present a uh, meaningful information in real time. Certainly they have data analysis before, before the big data and uh, uh, internet of things exist. But the main difference is that uh, is now we are not talking about uh, what it is. We were talking. We were trying to find why this is happen, and uh, 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 and we try to give a more predict in the future. So that is the mainly things the analytic or data science is uh, working on that one. So I get some kind of uh, uh, marketing analysis and have certain kind of uh, application. We are mo many of them we are familiar. For example, we have equipment monitoring. We are monitoring a device. Uh, we could uh, use a s monitoring uh, smart meters in a, s a smart grid, and uh, we could uh, uh, do the health uh, uh, output uh, uh, outcome analysis, and uh, etc. So we have a many kind of possible application that is not possible before that we, because we have this much data, we have a more powerful computation we can do. So. There is more particular uh, opportunity application. We are our project was interested in that the, the application, for example, for the process manufacturing industry, is that predict uh, the modeling uh, uh, and build a consistent, interoperable cross function uh, for research and development along supply chain to enable rapid experimentation, simulation, <coughs> and co-creation. Uh, if we're looking at the distribution and logic, uh, logistic, uh, so it's, uh, can, we can optimize the uh, uh, transportation uh, by using the GPS enabling uh, big data uh, 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 telematics. And uh, uh, the, the main thing different is that, uh, uh, is, is that we could create a digital model for entry uh, manufacturing process. That is our vision. So it's not only a one device uh, modeling, and it's, it, if we can put this model together and make a, a more uh, comprehensive model for the whole uh, manufacturing processing. And also, we could uh, do this kind of uh, demanding analysis and give the advanced demanding forecast and the supply planning across uh, supplies. Uh, the things it look like, but the, the problem is uh, very hard. So we all know that big data have this kind of 3V. We have a large volume, high veros, uh, uh, variety, and uh, high ve velocity. And uh, even we have the problem inherited from all the data is the veracity. So we have the date is different kind of date. The date could be uh, the many of sensing, uh, small sensing date. We can have an image date. We have a structured date. We could have the date is like the picture, X-ray, and uh, uh, the measuring date. So the date is many different, unstructured, unstructured. And also, this date will be not uh, guaranteed correct. M many of the noise in the date have a redundancy. The noise can be based on a device problem or based on the somebody particularly try to make the something wrong there. So they have a, we have to treat this kind of uncorrected date. And uh, uh, so the, the, the challenge is very big. So now uh, we are still need to have, uh, nowadays we still need to have the sensing, the sensing, the, uh, the cheap sensing and sensing for, uh, on uh, many things that we had not uh, day before. So now we still have the bottleneck in the sensing. We try to get uh, many data through the different sensing. And uh, the, in the future, in the very near future, we could have a lot of cheap sensing. We can sense many of things 
then the bottleneck of the problem is not the sensing, the, the problem will become processing the data and the competition, the, uh, communication with the data and the storage. So the problem, the bottleneck will be shifting that one. So we should be ready for that age. And if we look at the possible architecture, we could a uh, uh, system we can uh, can do these things. So we we could have Internet of Things a platform, and this platform can get a different kind of data. Have say that the body sensor data, and the the data on the machine, and uh, the picture from mobile, and uh, the the tweet from the mobile, and this data we get uh, from the access gate and uh, through the internet and uh, connected by Internet of Things uh, uh, platform. And this data will be uh, feed in different databases, not just the one database, and many different databases. And then we should clean the data, pre-process it, and uh, reduce the amount of data. And we do data mining, and uh, then we get a decision, and this decision will be feed back to the, uh, the systems, and the system will be, can be controlled. Uh, so can we just directly use a data mining algorithm that is exist for many, many, many years? And no, the, pro the, question, uh, the answer is no, we cannot use it because this kind of data um, uh, uh, traditional data mining algorithm is deal with uh, uh, centralized, first is centralized, the data volume is not that much. And the, this is the, the traditional many uh, uh, well-known data mining algorithm cannot de deal the real-time things that we will need it. And they will not consider that the sensor is small, we need to save the energy. So, uh, so these kind of things has not considered in the traditional data uh, mining algorithm. So what things is that we need to design our uh, uh, both in the pre-process uh, pre operator and the data mining uh, technology. So we need to have uh, uh, design what kind of data sampling frequency we need to have it. So we cannot free, uh, uh, too quick uh, get uh, data because then it will be energy will uh, quickly be consumed. But we cannot take too long time then it we have can lost something. So the frequency of data sampling and we will maybe need to uh, reduce uh, data uh, dimension, reduce uh, and uh, then we need uh, compress uh, date uh, compressions because we cannot get every date uh, and uh, uh, just uh, push there. So that we need have in some way should reduce the date and such that we can uh, save the energy. Uh, at the same time, so we will have think not only centralized uh, uh, problem, not like we put everything, send everything to the cloud and uh, let uh, some big, uh, big system to do it, because that is concerned two things. One is that the communication cost, it will be uh, uh, quickly, uh, the, the battery will be die out. The second thing is that uh, that uh, every company or private person have the, their own privacy needed to re, uh, to protect. So we cannot all the uh, raw data go to uh, centralized the, uh, the ones, and it will be have very difficult to protect uh, the the certain kind of privacy the company or personally will want like it. So the distributed uh, uh, system, uh, distributed mining technology has to be developed such that uh, to fulfill uh, this kind of requirement. Uh, so certainly we have another issue. So for example, the, the system, the environment will be changed. So we are, we, we, we are uh, we training the data, we, uh, we get the modeling, and afterwards the, uh, the environment can change. We need to retrain and re-get modeling. And when we stop training, when we start uh, re, uh, relearning, and this kind of things we should be uh, managed well, so that increment the learning. And at the same time, the data from different source and the different source is not synchronized. Some this device will be die and it then it's coming on and the time not synchronized. So the how need to have manage that non-synchronized sensor data streaming that is also have big challenge. Certainly the most big challenge is the privacy and the security, especially the privacy things. So everybody is worrying about the, the, the date we leave to the, to the uh, uh, some kind of server can be, uh, can be harm for ourselves. So the privacy and the security at the same time so we want to get the knowledge from that. So that's kind of open issue. We are hope we can deal with that one. Uh, where we are, we are still in the beginning of the project. The project, uh, we will be working together with our partner company, SDC, uh, uh, Bosch Rex Rocks, and DY, and uh, uh, ServerNet. So the, 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 the road is long, and we are beginning. Thank you.